Hi and welcome to another video from the best of cat series. This particular question is from modern math. So what I would suggest is you try it out on your own and then have a look at the solution that will follow. If you like our content and want to experience the IMS pedagogy, you can join the IMS zero fee prep programs that will give you access to concept videos, sectionals, full length tests and more for free. You may click on the i button or on the link in the description box below to access the same. Happy learning. Now this question is rather straightforward and people who are good at numbers would have figured out what exactly is this function that we are talking about. Now f of x plus 2 is equal to f of x plus f of x plus 1. So those of you who have figured out what this particular concept is or what exactly is this sequence, do comment below in the section and we will try to see if many of you have got it right. So this is basically a series that I will not talk about. That is basically the nature of the function. It holds true for all positive integers x. We know that f of 11 is 91, f 15 is 617, then we have to find what is the value of f of 10. Fairly straightforward question, you just have to substitute the values and try to figure out what exactly happens. So let's start from the very end. Let's start with f 15. Now f 15 is 617, but can f 15, so if x plus 2 is 15, what can we say is the value of x? x plus 2 equals 15, so x will be equal to 13 x plus 1 will be equal to 14. So, can I also say that f13 plus f14 will be equal to 617? We can obviously say that. But do we know what is the value of f13 and f14? We don't know in this case. So, we have to go backwards. We have to go till the time we can figure it out in the form of f11 and f10 and we should be fine. So, in this case, instead of f13, what I will do is I will write this as f12 plus f11. Each term is the summation of the two previous terms. So, f12 plus f11 will be f13. f14 will be nothing but f13 plus f12. The sum should be 617. What is f12? f12 is nothing but f11 plus f10. Two preceding terms is what we need. f11, we know the value, so we will keep it as it is for the time. What about f13? f13 is nothing but f12 plus f11 from what we have seen in the previous step and f12 will be nothing but f11 plus f10 again. So, slowly you are trying to figure out whether we are able to put everything in the form of f10 and f11 which we should be able to obviously. So, in this case what we have here is we have f11, 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 f11 that is present here. We also have this f12 that can be resolved again. So, 1, 2, 3, 4 times f of 11 plus 1 and 2 times f of 10 plus this f12 will split again. We will write this as f11 plus f10 equals 617. So, what are we going to get? We are going to get 5 times f of 11 plus 3 times f of 10 will be 617. Now, f of 11 is known to us as 91. What is 5 times 91? 455. So, we can say that 3 times f of 10 will be 617 minus 455. So, we are going to get 455 plus 145 will be 600. 145 plus 17 will be 162. So, 3 times f of 10 is 162 or we can say that f of 10 will be 162 by 3. 3 fives are 15, 3 fours are 12. Our answer is going to be 54. So, that is the answer to this particular question. Now, if you have understood this concept well, we have a replica question at the end that you can try out on your own. Do not forget to post your answers in the comment section below. Happy learning. 